it would just be like, oh, my boss come in and it would just be like <laughs> the, login. the login screen. Like it was. Subscribe to the podcast, KFC Radio on YouTube. Bang. Yeah. But but I do also think that uh, every job has its own like burdens where it's like I used to love being able to go to work hungover and just yeah, fucking yeah, stare yeah. at a screen and be like, I'm not doing oh. anything today. I was, Whereas this dude, is like, you know, you do that, I, you lose dude, your, your audience. I was the king of skating by. Yeah. <laughs> like I was so good at that. Yep. I worked at a law firm and it, this is my, one of my jobs before I moved to New York because I needed to save up money um, was I, were, I was a paralegal. And I didn't know what the law firm was. And it was like this trashy, like Baltimore, like fucking Hell suburb yeah. <laughs> uh, fucking office. And I realized pretty quickly that it was a foreclosure law firm. And they were taking people's houses. And I was like, well, I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah. Like, this, is af- this is after the like, this is after the housing crisis, which is like people were tricked Kevin into Simon. selling, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did. I was, yeah. I was working directly <laughs> yeah, with yeah, 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 collateralized yeah, yeah. loans and all that shit. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. like six months into working, I've seen on CNBC, like collateralized de- debt is the problem. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Yikes. what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> and I yeah. do poorly. No, that, yeah, that checks out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big time. You know? Big um, time. I, I got there and I was like, well, I don't want to fucking work for these people. And I was like, well, I'll just like stop working and like I'm sure they'll fire me in like three or four weeks, whatever, by the time they figure it out. And I was just like, in the meantime, I'm going to go on two hour lunches. I'm going to be the fucking, you know, the life of the office. Yeah, I'm just yeah, shooting yeah. this shit with everyone. Everyone loves me because I'm not doing work. It's office I'm, space. I'm going around. You're the joke guy. You're the cool guy. And it took them literally like six months to fire me. And I just literally not, not doing anything. I was not doing. This is when I was starting stand up. Like I was pretty early on in my career. I was like doing open mics. I'm just writing shit. My boss would come by. I would hit the like mouse yep. to get the screensaver. But I was lo- I wasn't logged in. <laughs> so it would just be like oh, my boss come in. It would just be like <laughs> the, login. the login screen. <laughs> like it was. I was like I was literally playing like on my cell phone. I was and it was like I wasn't. In, I didn't have an office. I had cubicles out in the open. It was so completely disrespectful. I was begging to get fired, and they just wouldn't do yeah. it. And honestly, there is part of me that's like. It would be fun to see what scams I'd be capable of. Oh yeah, if I, I do if feel shit like it didn't work, you I, know? I, I scare myself sometimes with just like casual lying and, yeah, and, the, yeah. and the ability, the ability to like you know, because I am lazy. And, yeah, 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 it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, like that's when you really put your laziness to the test. You know what I realized is like you know, if, especially if you work for a, a bigger place, they gotta have all their ducks in a row before they fire. That's somebody. what happened. So I, I did the same thing. I was begging them to fire me. They were like, hey, how about we transfer you to another department where you'll thrive better? And I was like, no, because yeah. I had Barstool <laughs> yeah, kind of yeah, lined yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. like, what do you mean no? And I was like, I'm good. And yeah, they're like, that yeah, means yeah. we're going to fire you. I was <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, But yeah, then yeah, I started yeah, thinking yeah. about all of the people who got fired before me. And I was like, boy, you guys must have really sucked. Well, but because they're it. trying to fire me and they can't. Yeah. And you got the boot immediately. Well, it's because like there's a certain kind of like what what does not get like someone working too hard is a bigger mistake than yes. someone not working hard enough mm-hmm. in a corporate environment. Nobody respects you. Everybody and, takes advantage of you. And, and the bosses are worried you're going to make them look bad. And the, yeah. and the people that you're like, well, they'll their boss will see. Their boss doesn't give a fuck. Mm-mm. Their boss is trying to figure out how to fucking uh, embezzle money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, they don't guy, fucking rich guy shit. Yeah, which literally happened at that law firm, by the way. I think <laughs> one of the partners literally blew his brains out because they got caught. <laughs> they got caught just stealing from the firm. It was such a fucking mess. Dude, that what, place. A, what a lame way to kill yourself. Like yeah. blowing your brain out. Okay. No. Because no, of embezzlement? Like, you got yeah. from a firm. Like, was it a major firm? No, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm dude. sure, I feel like he was probably, these guys, like I said, these guys were fucking, they're just like, it was a joke of a, they didn't even know how to be white collar criminal. Like, right. you're not even going to <laughs> real jail, dude. Right. <laughs> no, yeah. like, you're not. Go hang out for a couple months and come home. Go kill yeah, yourself. Yeah. Christ almighty. But anyway, yeah, it was just like, that was a fucking, uh, yeah, that was a hilarious time in my life. I love, I do, I did love, and that's the other thing is like when, and then, I'm sure, you know, when when like starting Barstool and all this shit was your passion, it's like that's an exciting time. Uh, right? Like that's how I felt too at I that wish. time. That's, it's dude, like that's you the know. worst thing about it, is that like I know for a fact. And that's the that is probably what if we unpack more stuff, depression. Yeah, I love <laughs> it. Like I'll never be as happy as I right. was. Right. You're, made, you're, like, it's a, you're chasing the high, you're chasing the dragon. I think it was yeah. five hundred bucks a month when we started. Like oh, I love it, it was the fucking I, and and you know, in at the time. I was happy, but I of wasn't. You didn't, like, you didn't realize. You never know yeah, during the good right. times. There's the good times. Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, that's the same way. I, like my last year in Baltimore is probably the happiest year of my life so far because it was like, I was like, you know, you're the best comic in a small city. Yeah, you know what I mean. Big it's like fish, you get, small pond. Yeah, awesome. big fish, small pond. It was the first time in my life I was getting pussy because I believed in myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I had a college girlfriend, and I that's the only person I fucked. And then I live in Baltimore, and then I'm just going hard. 
working, saving up, living at home, and then I move in with my buddies, and it's like I'm getting finally getting sucked off. You know what I mean? <laughs> and 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 it's like and from your buddies. They were just, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We were just like such a it was such a bro household. It was fucking. It was it was just and I worked at a paint store making uh, ten dollars an hour. Yeah. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. It was just like it was just fucking great. It was it was a great time, and I like. Just hung over, mm-hmm. always going to work, like feeling like shit. All I cared about was comedy. Yeah. And it was just fucking, it was just, and again, I had, I was so poor, I would eat like eggs and beans. Like I would just, that was my go to meal, was like, I would bake eggs the eggs and, and beans. beans. Yeah. And that's, some, that, that's fucking Mine Danny DeVito. That, that's Charlie and Frank on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, yeah. right and I would just make fucking like, Literally pans of it and just like fucking eat eggs and beans because it was like the cheapest. What, what's shit worse, to have. eggs and beans or uh, I would do tomato, tomato soup, soup and I would melt s- cheese slice, in it to make it a little slice of craft single. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's a, like a deconstructed tomato soup and grilled cheese situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. Subscribe to KFC Radio on YouTube to get all the video content. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops. I want to say something, but the video has to be fast, so that's it.